I have a rare here just displaying their cars on purpose on the street or they really are kind of popular there's like a, another side of the road I saw many in the city that's how I actually looked it up I googled it look at the detail they have really small uh, vehicle old vehicles run on gasoline and uh, so yeah I think there's no insurance for it and stuff but that's they start to bring in a, uh, a little electric ones this one is obviously a show model but the beauty about these things is that you can customize them as much as you want because basically you just change the seats you can change the color and it looks differently and, uh, and it's like a it's last, like you know, we didn't see it last mile. Like this one does 100 kilometers. So it pretty much does the same mileage like your five year old electric car. It's not cheap, but I think that's not the point. The point is uh, convenience and maybe overall lower running costs, whatever. Okay, and this one is does just 40 kilometers on the charge, and it's eight grand, so like 12 grand or just eight grand, it's all down to the battery. But the beauty of this system is that it's modular. So I am looking now at doors, but you don't have to have doors like this car. Because when it's sunny, you don't really need doors. But then you can also change it for a boot or a bigger boot. So whatever you want, even once you have a base, you can basically create whatever attachments you want for it. Because that's the steel construction. I guess maybe aluminium, but I guess steel. And uh, and then you have like change alloys, you can make any any looks if you want to. And it opens at the top and it opens at the bottom. So have a crosswind in the summer. Uh, obviously that's what you need. You need to buy bicycles because you need to have mirrors. They help a lot. And then if you want to be go crazy crazy. You can stitch it in octagons, like in uh, Lamborghini. It is a bit of a job to squeeze, squeeze in. But, uh, I do fit. So maybe with somebody else, it would be, who is as big as me, maybe it would be a bit of a squeeze, but still we're going anywhere we want. We still have a, a weather protection, the door seal properly, like this is like a proper, like exactly like the car would be. The rubber it's perfect the window is exactly the same as well the frame is also exactly the same like i would say that there is a likelihood that it was made by the manufacturers who were doing uh cages for trucks or tractors or cranes and stuff like that because it's a sturdy uh, construction you know obviously you don't want to be going 80 kilometers an hour on the motorway <laughs> but for a short commute it's it's perfect and then again, when you're adding good materials, when you're playing around with colors, you, and this is, these are just sleeves. So you basically, even if you're crafted or you have a sewing machine at home, you can actually create whatever you want as well, because it's just like an empty canvas. And uh, that's also because you need so little materials, that experimentation is cheap as well, which is also very nice, always nice. And I really apologize, I'm only filming with my smartphone because like, for the one trip, I didn't bring my camera gear. I said, I'm gonna travel super light. Uh, I spotted something and uh, it's still, still good enough. So yeah, so the, the point is like, this vehicle is so basic, it still has everything. Maybe you can buy it completely empty. I don't know, like without stuff like a uh, speaker or whatever. Maybe you can't because it's produced somewhere else and you have to ship it. Um, but the beauty of it is just works. Like, you know, the cup holder, you know, you just make a list what you need and then afterwards you just make it into a vehicle. This is one, what starts when you start using better materials for it and it's just simple again. You have this pipe and then afterwards that pipe is covered with a leather cover. So the feel is the same as on a seat and it changes everything. So all the car is built from similar stuff. So where you have material which can be covered with some other material and you know, that allows, not going to say, we didn't say like, cut corners, but it allows you full flexibility. You know, it in straight away how it makes it look. You know, changing color, 
like, I don't know, it's like really old wire. Exactly. And every single thing in the, the vehicle is small, so you don't need that much of it. Or maybe it's not a real leather, maybe it's, I'm uh, too quick to judge. Maybe that's synthetic leather, because some people prefer uh, to have synthetic leather when they want leather material. It is small, it is light, and of course I'm be guessing right now, but I think I look at the uh, option to put it inside of the van, like a rail, and also maybe inside of your house if your door is big enough, because it's electric car, so it's clean. Now, also, because most of the construction is metal, you have a full range of colors. And what they show here is just the pre-mixed examples, which we probably want to show you, but I almost guarantee you can pick anything you want, because it's a very good material to work on. Inside of the vehicle, it's pretty simple. As you need wheel, you need to know your speed, and small details like, you know, where you hold your phone, uh, I guess, Bluetooth speaker, then it's turn on, turn off. It works from our IRF tag, so you can start with your mobile phone, and you can share access, and then you have like you know indicators, obviously lights, probably, and something else. Uh, and uh, here, I would guess that's a handbrake. And you have simple foam seats, and that's you know this is where we're coming back to the bare material. The previous uh, seats in the show cars were covered with other material. But this is the perfect material to work as under the uh, side because it, it's firm, it keeps the uh, shape, um, and you can cover. And that's another thing is like your neck protection because you know you're sitting down, it's cool, it's fine, but you're driving with the cars. So and the reason we have neck protection is that when you have a bounce, your head is not collapsing backwards.